Hello everybody, this is Locke Minecraft, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Minecraft scripting plugin Denizen. Denizen is a very broad plugin that allows you to do many things you would normally do with a plugin, except it is more straightforward and much easier to use. So, first thing you're going to need is Denizen and Citizens. You can find both of the downloads to the latest version of these on the Denizen IRC. So if you have an IRC client, open it up. Go to irc.esper.net and join hashtag denizen-dev. Then when you're there, you can type exclamation point update and a bot will reply with all the download links. Monkeybot, he is the IRC bot which will help you later on. So he's got the denizens download, the citizens download, the craft bucket, and the dependency download. You only need these first three. So after you've got those installed, we can get into scripting. So there are a few different kinds of scripts. So as you can see, I've got a script here called pathfinding.yml, I've got some NPC scripts, I've got some general scripts, and they all do very different things, but there are a few main kinds of scripts. There are task scripts. These are scripts that run a list of commands. There are world scripts that run a list of commands when an event happens. So an example would be when a player breaks a block, a world script would run a set of commands, so they're fired by world events. Interact, interact scripts are another kind of script that are used mainly for quests. They allow NPCs to have certain steps that they're on to help them manage quests. So an example of this would be having one step of the quest be asking the player if they want to accept the quest, and the second be checking if they have the items the NPC needed. That would be very basic. The next category is assignment scripts. These assign NPCs interact scripts as well as how they handle NPC events, which are things like when the NPC is damaged, what does it do? Item scripts are basically just an easy way to create your own custom items with custom lore and your own display name. And procedure scripts are a special kind of script that you call with a value and it returns a string. Basically what this means is you call a procedure script with a player's name and the procedure script might check if the player's name begins with A. And if the player's name does begin with A, then it would return true. And if not, it would return false. So they just allow you to take in a value and get back a value. But you won't need those to start. So let's start off by writing a basic task script. So we're going to create a new text file. And we're going to call it firsttask.yml. So make sure it's a YML file and you're going to want to download either Notepad++ or Sublime 2. Both downloads in the description. First, so open up your file, and I'm going to be doing this all in Sublime as it's my favorite editor. So I'm going to create my first task script. I'm going to title it first task, and then I'm going to add a colon. If you want to have spaces in your name, just make sure you add little quotes around it, like that. So we've got first task. Next, we want to go two spaces in, type type, T-Y-P-E, add another colon, and then put the type of script. Now here's where you could put task, world, interact, assignment, item, procedure, whatever. This is a task script, so we're going to write task. Oh, not corrected. Next, we're going to type and on the same line, so again, not different line, two spaces in, script, add a colon, and after this, you're going to go two spaces in, add a hyphen, and you're going to put your commands. This is the main part of your script right here. And basically what this does is you can substitute in any denizen command you want and use it to perform actions. So one denizen command is announce. So if we hop over on IRC and type exclamation point command, so we're searching the bot for commands and we type announce, the bot returns this, server command announce. Announce is a message for everyone online to read. And the syntax is announce, and then in quotes, you're going to need whatever you want to say. And then here's another little argument you can add. You can send it only to people who are ops, to the console, and to people flagged with a certain value. Ignore this flag thing for now, and also ignore format. All right, so let's try the announce command. And see, and then add your quotes. And let's say first task script ran correctly with horrible capitalization. Now say we want to make it a little more interesting. We can do colors. 
So you are all familiar with the ampersand numbers. In Denizen, all tags are surrounded like this. Basically, tags are just values that Denizen fills. So at A is the color tag for green, I believe. And then we'll make correctly a different one. And the numbers are the same as normal. We'll talk more about tags later, just so you know this is how you do colors. So first task ran correctly. On the next line, we're also going to do another command. It's the narrate command. So I hopped on IRC, I typed type, um, exclamation point command narrate, and then narrate shows some text to the player. You do narrate, then you put some text, and then you add a target. So narrate, quote, and then we're going to say something that's specific to the narrate. This message is only shown to you. And then, as we can see, the announce command is going to tell everyone first task group ran correctly, and a narrate is going to say this message is only only shown to you. Now, just to add another kind of tag, just to keep you guys started, we're going to add less than sign player dot name. Basically, this is another tag, and when Denison sees these little tags surrounded by less than and greater than signs, it tries to fill the tag. So it goes, okay, player, that's the player object. Name, that's, we obviously want the name of the player object. So then it'll go check the name of the player who ran the task script and find their name. So we're gonna save this, we're gonna go into our console and type denizen reload scripts. Next, we're going to open up Minecraft, join the server. Here we are. And we're going to type a command to run that task script. Normally, you don't have players running task scripts themselves. You have them triggered by other things. But just for our purposes, we're going to try running the task script manually. So, slash ex run, and then we're going to need our little things here. First task. And as we can see, first task script ran correctly. This message is only shown to you, QUE1124. So our colors worked fine. So did our narrate command. If you go in the console, you can see right here, run first task, announce, narrate. That's little denizen debugging. So that is the basic of task scripts. They run a line of commands, do whatever the commands say to do, and then they end. They're fairly straightforward. They're the most basic kind of script, and you will use them a lot. In the next tutorial, we'll be covering world scripts and more on tags. Thank you for watching. Bye.